guys! Hi! Today we are doing a book clips challenge. Whatever she said. We were tagged by Ali from Little Librarian and let's get started. First, this book you just bought, you need to pick a name from it. The last book I bought is Clockwork Angel 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 by Cassandra Clare. And we have to find a name. Here we go. Charlotte. Okay, the next question is, you have to pick a book you just read and you have to find a name. Okay, so it is the Catherine Ray and, um, well, I really didn't like this book, but okay, let's find the name. Um, I don't see, Ernie, Ernie, Ernie. Uh, the third is, book you've never read, you have to find location or place. Well, I've never read Howl's Moving Castle, although I'm planning to. And let's find location or place. You've got a castle! Here's a castle! <laughs> okay, next we have a favorite book and you have to find an adjective. Okay, I don't have a favorite book because I love a lot of books and I cannot pick my favorite, but I'm currently reading The City, uh, I mean City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, so at the moment this is my favorite book, so I'm just going to pick an uh, adjective from it. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, so tall. 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 So the next is book you didn't like and you have to find an item. Okay, that would be 100,000 Kingdoms. I was really thrilled with this book. And... Really? No what? I found crystals. Yay! <laughs> Let's write that down. Number six is smallest book on your shelf and you have to find an adjective. Okay, so it is The Waiting Room by Alicia K. So let's find something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, brown. <laughs> so, number seven is thickest book on your shelf. You have to find a noun. Okay, that would be the passage by Justin Cryan. It's pretty thick. <laughs> and it's supposed to have a lot of nouns, right? Yeah. A year. That's a noun, right? Yeah. We have a noun. <laughs> number eight is a dystopian book, and you have to find a verb. Okay, so Ignite Me by Tahir Mathy. And verb, uh, let's see. Uh, I can't really see anything. <laughs> uh, walking. 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 Number nine, book that made you cry. An adjective. That would be allegiant. <laughs> and we have to find an adjective. Sad. Okay, well, it really goes with this book. Okay, number 10 is a fantasy book and you have to find a creature or an animal. Okay, so Inheritance by Christopher Polini. So let's find something. Well, okay, let's go with... no, sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't see a creature here. Okay, <laughs> seriously. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Dragon. Ooh, I Yay. Like Yay! Everybody loves dragons. Of course. So number 11 is book made into a movie. You need to find an object. We have Divergent. And let's find an object. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is really no objects, huh? No guns or knives or anything. Come on. Maybe I could turn another page. Because there's nothing here. Okay, so... Right. <laughs> but we here. I'll find something! <laughs> <laughs> um... A flag! Okay, number 12 is book with deckled edges and you have to find a place. Okay, so Percy Jackson and the Lightning Teeth. 
let's find... What do I have to find? Place. Place. Great. Forest. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Forest. Yeah, place. Okay. The next is fantasy book. You have to find magical being. Okay, we have City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. And... Angels. Okay. Number 14 is a contemporary book and you have to find a name. Okay, so The Fault in Our Stars by John Green and the name is Isaac. Number 15 is Paranormal Book. You have to find exclamation. And that will be hush hush. And okay, this might take a while because there are not a lot of exclamations here and the, the book, book is of creation, so yeah. Page, maybe. Ooh, find the room. Find the room. Find the room. <laughs> <laughs> Number sixteen is book with the blue cover, and you have to find a past tense verb. Again, default in our stars because I don't have so many books with the blue cover of my bookshelf. So I need to find a past tense, and it is um. Here. Um, can you see it really? Packed. Okay, packed. The next is book with an even number of pages. You need to find past tense verb. Okay, we have to go with City of Lost Souls again because most of my books have odd number of pages. So this was the only yeah. one that I found. And this has 542 pages. Okay. <clears throat> I'm looking for a past tense for right. Yes. Tall. And lastly, we have book with an odd number of pages, and you have to find an emotional adverb. Unravel me by Tahir Mathi, and I need to find emotional adverb. Emotional adverb. Okay, let's see. I don't know. Not here. Here might be. Um. Confused. 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 Finally. Okay, so we have our story here on the yeah. paper. So we're gonna read it to you. So, okay. The quest for the tall crystals. Once upon a time, Charlotte and Ernie went on an adventure to the castle to find the tall crystals. Those crystals were said to have brown powers that could turn any man into a year as well as make him walk forever. Mm. Suddenly, Charlotte and Ernie's pack was bolted by a sad dragon. Aww. Aww. Luckily, Ernie never leaves home without his trusty flag and the dragon was quickly slain. When they finally reached the forest where the tall crystal crystals were said to be, they were met by an angel named Isaac, who told them that in order to obtain tall crystals, they had to say the magic word. Luckily, Charlotte knew it and quickly blurted out, Find the room! After receiving tall crystals from the mysterious angel, Charlotte and Ernie took each other's hands and pecked into the sunset, and they told confused ever after. <laughs> We are going to tag some people now, or okay. challenge them, or yes. whatever. <laughs> We're going to tag slash challenge Andrea from The Little Yellow Bookshop, Gemma from Aussie Bookworm, Rachel from Serious Rereader, and Carrie's from Carrie's Own Reading. So you are tagged to do this, or challenge, or whatever. Okay, so that was it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed our story <laughs> at the end and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye, bye.